Hey, good morning and welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today is Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas Eve, everyone. I am up extra early because I have a bunch of stuff that I want to get done today, including going to the gym this morning. So I'm gonna go do that and then I have to come home. I have to shower and get ready because I think my little brother and I are gonna go to this like Christmas Eve farmer's market. And then I'm gonna come home. I have to work for a little bit. Well, I do DoorDash for work, so it's not too, too hard. And then I'm gonna go out to this light show with family later. So I brought the clothes, took Foxy upstairs from obviously taking her out to the bathroom and I live on the third floor. So I am always out of fucking breath by the time I'm I get having up. issues this morning. He's been trying to wake me up since two in the morning thinking that he needs wet food. I don't a know why. sneak at what was in the laundry room yesterday though and just started crying because he knows that he has gifts in the bags. So I know he knows there's presents in the closet and he hasn't stopped bugging me ever since. Eat them though and then make myself a coffee and change into a workout set. Make myself a coffee, change into like a sports bra and go to the gym. I'm done with the gym, now I need to go shower and do my hair and then I think I'm gonna go live to do my outfit yeah, and everything when I get there, but I'm on my way now because Finn is about to beat my ass. Ignore my baby hair, I don't know where coffee are, but we're extremely confused by these cups because apparently they're aluminum and you could throw them away, but they keep your drink super cold. Look how good this shit looks though. It's called, oh it's not focusing, can't fire mocha. What'd you get? So vanilla latte. I made Finn take pictures with me on this wall. And I don't think he realized it would take me like 30 minutes to get the picture. Okay, I just went to the sports bar with English. I just went to the sports bar with my dad, my step up, and my brother. And I left early because they're all watching the football game. My phone was almost dead. I was not interested in watching the football game. But I'm taking my little brother's car back to my dad's house because I have to pick up my car and he's going to take him home with them. And then go. I know I need to let out Foxy. And I think there are a few other things on my to-do list that I need to do today. So I need to go. My little brother gets so mad every time I drive his car because I mess his seat up so bad because I'm short as fuck. God damn. Foxy really humbles my eyes sometimes when we're in public. I really just took her to the bathroom and very TMI, but she had a dingleberry afterwards and I had to fucking get that in public in front of my whole complex. Like, bro, come on. This is not what I wanted to deal with. My mom also told me that I should be nice and let the cats open one more present today because they have a bunch. And she said that I need to be a good mom because they don't understand choices because they're cats and they deserve to open their presents when they see them. All right, I'm gonna open this door and get their present. I wanna see Cal's reaction because he wanted the presents the other day. Allie. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck is this? I got you toy. All right, I'm kind of gonna just let them tear this apart for a minute and see if they can figure it out by themselves first. Why is he actually the cutest thing ever? Chip's going in. <laughs> okay. Cal's gonna try. He, he's climbing on top. <laughs> he's trying to. <laughs> oh. Okay. Right. Let's see. Chip's still trying to go for the bag, but I want to see if they like this first. Ricky's going for it. I forgot this thing's in there too, and Chip's been playing with it. Cal's trying to learn. Let's see if we'll do it again. Chip's just getting mad that Cal's like in the way <laughs> when he's trying to figure out how to use this. You gotta tap him. Cal doesn't get it. Chip's the only smart one. <laughs> I kind of knew Ricky was gonna be more in love with the freaking tissue paper. Hi, Rick. Chip's Loki so cute with this. At least he's smart enough to do it. Cal was Ricky not. actually likes this too. <laughs> what are you doing? Ow! Foxy seems a little sad. We're gonna get her her favorite almond butter. This is the almond butter she's obsessed with. All right, she's happy now. <laughs> One more day of Advent. I'm so happy because I finally stopped at Walgreens and picked up a pencil sharpener for all of my lip liners. Literally, all my favorite ones are completely dull and keep stabbing me every time I use them. I also them. didn't really talk about the farmer's market, but basically we got there. We got empanadas, which I'm obsessed with lately. I don't know why. They were just ham and cheese buns. We went and got coffee. That's what you saw. I really like the coffee for the most part, except for they put these like graham cracker chunks on top, but I don't know if they were actually edible or not because they just felt like these little styrofoam ball things in your mouth. They were kind of gross, not even gonna lie. 
But after that, Jenny Day wanted to get a loaf of bread. So I just found a scone. I usually get like cheese bread of some sort, but I didn't really have one. They just had like plain sandwich bread, which that's what he wanted. So we got those and then we split a bagel and met my dad and stepmom at a bar to go and watch the game for a little bit. We were gonna eat, but me and him weren't really hungry after that. So I just kind of hung out and then took his car home. I also made him take pictures of me at this graffiti wall and he was not too happy about it at first, but he liked the pictures that he got from too. I didn't really show my outfit, but I just wore this little black top, these jeans. They aren't jeans, they're little pants from Zara. And I had, I couldn't find shoes to wear with these. So I wore these boots, which are from Walmart, but they're Madding Girl. I don't know, they're really nice, but clearly you don't need to see all that. So I was very, very hot and overheating the whole entire time and literally had to strip out of these in my brother's car. Pictures are not really good though, so definitely go check them out on Instagram. Okay, I just have a few more hours to relax before I have to get ready. But tonight at like five, I'm going over to my dad's. We're gonna eat dinner there and then we're gonna go to this light show thing. At, I think it's called Princess and Scott's. And I think I wanna change for that because I wanna get a few more pictures for Instagram since tomorrow's Christmas and I wanna have a picture. I also wanna to attempt to get all of them back in their Christmas sweaters and buy the tree in one sitting, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. I really want at least one Christmas picture with them all together in their matching outfit. Right, I just read a little bit more of my book and now I'm gonna probably take a little bit of a nap because I went to bed at like one in the morning and was up at six. I only got five hours of sleep. We're gonna be walking around all night, so I need to get a little bit of rest. So I'm gonna take a quick power nap and then I'm gonna wake up, pick out a new outfit for tonight. And Way later than I was supposed to, so I quickly got ready. I just kind of retouched my hair with the Dyson and added some more curl to it because I wanted to be more bouncy. Put on just a black top from H&M, my Lulu leggings, and this oversized coat that I got the other day. Jack and my dad's, we're gonna eat some pizza and then we're gonna go to this light show. So I'll show you guys some of that. It's super cute. My dad's whole entire street does these little candles. It's not even just a the street. They go all the way down the block, but. The rest them over a gas fire, but that's fine. All right, Finn and I are doing the ice please. walked in, Callie hopped down from the cabinet, but all of them were sleeping together up there. Right, I'm just getting home, but that was a lot of fun. My dad gave me one of my gifts early because he was nervous low-key that I wouldn't like it, which is so sad, but obviously I'm gonna like it if he got it for me. He got me this necklace, it's gold, and it has this little logo on it. It honestly makes me really happy he got me this because I've heard that the Tiffany's necklaces are coming back in like style with all the hearts and people keep getting like the knockoff ones, but this one's so right, I'm gonna chat with you guys about something that happened tonight because this shit makes me so mad and might as well be fucking real with you guys so i've been on and off talking to this guy for like two years now i want to say i met him not this past year but the year before that in the spring he was here playing baseball for spring training and i don't know i guess we vibed really well and we hung out like every single day that he was here literally and then he left and went to play in another state you know the typical would constantly text me here and there oh i miss you i want to see you blah 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 you know all that stuff and after like i think a year and a half of us kind of going back and forth him only being out here during season he flew me out to one of his games in salt lake city so went to go watch him play there right spend the whole weekend with him everything's fine and then guess what he goes back to playing and i barely hear from him again but every few months, he likes to cycle back around, check back in on me, say he missed me, and acts like he wants to see me, which I'm sure he does, like, want to see me as friends. But I'm over like, this. he constantly says that he wants to see me and be around me and whatever, but because of his job, it just doesn't work like that. Which, like, dude, I get if you play fucking baseball, right? But do not go around leading me on every single time and pretending like you're gonna be here for me and do things for me and be around. Not even that, but just like, don't give me a sob story. Basically, he'd say that because he's moving around so much with baseball, he just doesn't have time for a relationship. Which listen, I totally get, but then why not like fuck on any other girl? Like why try to mess with someone who clearly wants something serious and not So that, that was kind of a little background story. But anyway, he messaged me tonight. Christmas Eve and said I miss you and my brothers were roasting me because they said I was being toxic but I don't think I was he said I miss you and I said oh then you should come see me 
because if you play baseball and you can travel, then you can come see me. So he said, I just don't have the time for that. Really? So then I'm annoyed because I'm like, dude, why do you keep hitting me up when I told you multiple times, do not hit me up unless you're interested in something serious because I'm over the bullshit. So then he proceeds to tell me, oh, let me just fly you out to Puerto Rico then. No. Like, I just don't see the point of me wasting my time flying out, seeing him, spending time with him, waiting on his schedule, his game days when he can't come here whatsoever. Like, if you play baseball or have a full-time job and you're using that as an excuse to not be in a relationship, it's not it literally just means you're not ready for the commitment of having to move your own life around to make the needs of someone else is satisfied. So well. I just wanted to get that off my chest while I was smoking because this shit drives me absolutely crazy and he... Then gets upset when I say these things. He's just like, I'll just stop bothering you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, dude, obviously, I don't think you're necessarily bothering me, but just be straight up. I like the guy. I always have. He's known this, but you don't want to act on it. And that's not on me. Like, I'm sorry, but you could not hit me up every holiday because you're lonely due to your own actions. Like, if you wanted a girl and you wanted a girl to be with you on holidays, even if you're traveling, you would make that work. Anyways, though, tomorrow morning is Christmas Day, and I have to be up and ready by, like, 8.30 because we're going to go over to my dad's at 9 to eat breakfast. My older brother's going to go to church so at 10.30, I think, so we have to, like, get all that done before, and then we're just going to watch movies and sit around and wait for him to get back, and then finish the rest of Christmas, open presents, have dinner, and all that. And Foxy's not going to be very happy, but I'm totally making her wear her sweater tomorrow. My goal is to watch A Christmas Story, The Elf, and the Grinch all tomorrow. I also wanted to get my cats together for a group picture tonight in their magic sweaters, but I really just don't know if that's gonna happen. So or... all the cats are being cute and sweet and sleepy, so I think I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to do their Christmas picture. Ready for bed. I'm gonna end the video here for the day, but thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely like, comment, subscribe, and turn your post notifications to be notified every single time I upload, and I will see you guys in the next video.